All right, so I've had enough people ask me that I'm finally I'm just going to I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to make a a YouTube video and uh and show you how to do uh put up cattle cattle fencing um in your garden alone. Well, I guess not alone. We got we got the trusty assistance. We got D the demon Dale. Dale's his name. We got Rex over there. Then we got Black Dog Brad right there, taking shade because it's it's pretty hot out today. It's like summer. So, so anyways, uh, for this cattle fencing, I I grow like you know squash, anything that vines, like squash, cucumbers, um, but mostly squash because you know anyone who grows squash know if you put it in the ground, it's gonna spread like 90 feet each way. Watermelon, that's another thing. Cantaloupe, that's another thing that you can put on there, but. I mean, obviously, I feel like a lot of people uh, know that. So, so anyways, I'm, I'm going to do this alone. Because a lot of people have been asking me, how you do this? How you do that? How you do that? And I'm like, all right, I'm just going to make a video. So I got these. You can I use a lot of, like, you, what is it, not T-Post, you posts. There we go. But um, I thought I'd just use these little ones just to try them out, see if they work. So I got two, and I got the cattle fencing like that. Hey, you better not be wandering out there, guy. Hey, not even listening. All right, so, so yeah, I got it like that, and then I'll have one in my hand that I'll use, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try it. Let's make sure I got the a good angle at this. Got you guys on like a. There we go. Like show. Oh, there we go. All right, so you should get, you should be able to get it. So, takes a little bit of muscle. There's my neighbor Dave. Thanks, Dave, for even making this garden for me when I. When I first moved in, what a good guy. Go like that. Throw one of those things down, and you're good. Dale, are you in the way? You can walk under them. So yeah, I don't know if you could hear me talking, but that, that was Dave. Dave that drove by. Thanks, Dave. Dave came over when I first when I first moved here. It was like he had a big old tractor tiller and tilled up all my whole garden. He made this all possible. So thank you, Dave. Um, but yeah, anyway, so so then I just secure it with this like this little wire. I don't know. It's hard to see because it's like gray and cheapers. I can't get that out. But yeah, I just cheaper criminy. <laughs> but yeah, I just secure it with this little wire. I don't know what kind of wire it is. Um, or you could use twine or paracord or whatever. But all I know is this isn't called wiggle wire. And uh, and yeah, and then I just put. I don't know. You can use like just two stakes, but I usually use four on each corner just to give it a little more stability. And. Um, what else was I gonna say? And then I usually, I usually just plant like two two squash on each side. Which honestly, I'm probably just gonna do one squash on each side, and then they they grow up, and you just train them as they're growing up. Train them to go all the way, and like last year, my squash would grow from like like this side all the way over to this side, and they were like competing. But it's it's awesome. It's so like. Um, it's so space, I don't know, what do, you, what do you call it, like conserving space, and I think the plants do so well, so this is, the, this is like how I'm just gonna grow all my squash from here on out, it's just like that, like it's just, I think it's the way to go, and, and the, the cattle fencing isn't, um, uh, it's not too expensive, I, I just picked a couple up from in town today, and it was like 28 bucks a pop or something like that. So, 
so yeah i hope this uh i hope this helps and uh, i hope to make more more uh garden videos so thanks <laughs>